If you'd like access to this Vanna model and you are a Spot Gamma subscriber, you simply click the index button here on the toolbar to the left and then choose the index or ETF of your choice. As you can see, they're listed up here. So we're going to focus on Vanna today and describe what the model is and what kind of information you could get from it. So first, starting on the x-axis is the uh, price of the S&P 500. As we shift the price of the S&P 500 around, what we're doing is we're showing you what the delta exposure is based on all the open interest in the S&P 500. Now, on the y-axis is delta notional. So what is the dollar value of the deltas? And the idea here is that the greater the value of the deltas, the more positive equity exposure or or positive exposure dealers and market makers have to the S&P 500 index. Now, obviously, the more exposure you have, and if you're a dealer or market maker, you want to keep a, a neutral exposure to that directional price. That means that the the higher we go on this y-axis, the more futures you would have to sell. And then as we come down, you'd want to buy those futures back. So again, the higher these lines are going, it infers that there's higher notional Equity exposure, which has to be offset in general with short futures. Now, Vanna itself obviously attempts to describe what the delta impact is from changes of implied volatility. So that's really what we're trying to uh, portray here. So how can you glean that information or pull that information from this chart? Well, first in gray here, we have what the changes of just pure delta with no adjustment to implied volatility. So the gray line is just looking at the delta exposure. If we don't adjust implied volatility, just if we iterate through or change the underlying price of the S&P 500. And what you can see in this case is that from basically 4,000 on down, uh, there is a general increase increase in deltas, right? Because we believe that dealers and market makers are generally short puts. So as the market is going down, those puts are losing value and that is driving up equity exposure for dealers and market makers. And so they'll have to sell futures as a result. Now, obviously, if the market bounces and rallies back, dealers will start to buy back those futures, and that can speed up the movement of the S&P 500. That's because dealers are selling as the market goes down and buying as the market comes back up. That drives volatility. Now, to the right of this trough, we see positions driven mostly by call options. Now, we believe that dealers are generally long calls, and so as the market goes up, dealers who are long calls are selling futures into market rallies. That should reduce volatility as dealers sell as the market goes up, they sell futures, and if the market slides back down, they will buy futures back. And so you can imagine that if that flow is large enough, it actually constricts volatility. So that's the general way we look at these flows. Now, what does the purple line do? Well, we have a fairly complex implied volatility model behind this. And so what we're doing here in this case is instead of just changing the underlying price like we do for the gray line, what we're doing is as we move the underlying price, we're also changing implied volatility. So as those of you who understand the way that this works, as the market declines, implied volatility generally spikes, right? Think about the VIX. The VIX spikes as the market goes down. And conversely, as the market rallies, we generally have implied volatility, i.e., for example, the VIX, the VIX comes down as the market rallies. And so in this case, if you want to know, well, hey, what's Vanna? In other words, what is the change in implied volatility due to delta exposure? Well, that's what this area does between these two lines, right? So as you can see, as the market goes down in this case, and you account for the change in implied volatility, the exposure jumps dramatically. So this suggests that instead uh, of a $1.4 trillion roughly market exposure, we have something like a 1.6. This is telling us that dealers have to sell a lot more futures than if you didn't account for an unchanged implied volatility. So this means that, in other words, there's a lot more volatility to, ex to be expected because as the market drops, volatility spikes, there's a lot more futures to sell. And then if the market rallies, there's a lot more futures to buy back. So this tells us that volatility should be much higher than, than you would expect if you're only looking at a change in underlying price. Now, to the right of this trough, it gets a little bit more interesting because as implied volatility drops, particularly if implied volatility is at a high level, calls are going to lose value on an initial rally. And that's why what you see here, this initial difference between that gray line and purple line, the calls that we think dealers are long uh, are reduced in value. And so that actually decreases the amount of futures they may have to initially sell uh, on a market rally. But as you can see, as we get up over a count of 4150 in that area, the two lines really merge. And that's because those calls are no longer really losing value because implied volatility has dropped so much. So again, for those of you who are always wondering, hey, what is Vanna doing? Is Vanna a big component of the market here? Well, look at the chasm or the difference between these two lines, the shaded area here, and the larger the gap is between these two lines, then the larger uh, or more important Vanna is as a market driver.
Now, if you have any additional questions on this, all you have to do is come down here, hit the support button, and you can get a lot more definitions and some extra videos that describe uh, the impact of Vanna and specifically uh, what this derivative Greek is. And if you're not a subscriber to Spot Gamma, head over to spotgamma.com and you can get a free seven-day trial of our service where we send out two daily notes along with offering dozens of different ways to monitor the options market and its impact on the underlying equities.